Okay, so basically I'm going to be showing you how to make a transitional GIF. So pretty much a GIF that has got more, more one or more sequences in it. So I'm just going to uh, take a few scenes from this video and put them together. Um, it probably helps if you know how to make a GIF already. But if you don't, then it's not that big a deal because I will pretty much show you how to do it anyway. So pretty much just like a normal GIF, get rid of the frames you don't want. You don't really have to do anything else to it because like slow it down or resize it or anything because we'll be doing that later on. Okay, so oops, another GIF. Okay, so when you've got your two GIFs, one's going to be the, the base, so I'm going to do this one because it's got more frames. So this will be the GIF that I'll be adding my other GIFs onto, right? Drag it out, go to your other GIF, Okay, select the layers, all of them, and just drag them in. Alright, so you've got all your other gifts in here. Drag it to the bottom. Okay. Then you just gotta add the new frames.
Alright, so then you should have one long gift set of gifts. Okay, do the usual, make it a bit um, slower. Okay, so then what you want to do, I'm going to change mine in here because I wanted I wanted these to be separate. So go to the last frame of your first GIF, find the eye and click on it, right, so you've, you're selected in your palette and on here. Then the second, uh, the first frame of your second GIF, so it's this one, needs to be showing. So the, the last frame of your first GIF needs to be visible that its own layer so here and also the first frame of your second gift so here click on the one on the layer that's on top so for me it's layer 29 first frame of my second gift change it to screen so it's like a mixture of the two right Same thing, last frame of your second GIF needs to be showing the first frame of your third GIF. Make sure it's all lined up. Select the one that's on top, screen. So it's a mixture of both of them. Alright, so once you've done that, you go to the last frame of the entire GIF, find the layer, drag it to the top of your layer palette so it's visible over everything else. Select all of these except for your first frame and your last frame so that it's not visible over them. Right, so it's not visible. Go to the first frame and make sure that it is visible. So your last frame should be visible on your first frame. Same thing again, make the top layer, so your last frame, screen it, so that it's a mixture of the two. I'm going to delete some of these because it doesn't look good. I'm going to be making a gift set with mine, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Add your watermark if you want. it back okay. 
file, say for Webin devices, make sure it's under one megabyte. Up the colours a bit. Play it back again, just make sure it looks good. Save it. Then you can upload it to Tumblr. Alright, there you go. Transitional GIF. Hoped it helped. And if it didn't, then just tell me and I'll try and explain it again. <laughs>